Take the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Got a light, got a light. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me. Your illustrious host, Khadija. Okay, y'all, I've been wanting to read this story to y'all for a minute. I haven't gotten around to it, but today I got time, cuz. <laughs> today I got time, cuz. Shout out to Lovely T. I really love your commentary. I love the way you put together your programs, and uh, I just want to give you a shout out this morning. Today I got time, cuz. <laughs> anyway, y'all, this is a. Uh, 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 a commentary um, actually blessing Representative Adam Klinziger of Illinois because um, he was one of the few um, Republicans actually who investigate and who was willing to step out and tell you how messed up Donald Trump is and all the people that followed his cult leader and he also expressed uh, um, a lot of opinions that a lot of us express and coming from the other side. So he's a breath of fresh air because as you can see, he's putting his uh, his the basic truth and honesty before party, before um, you know, power and you have to give the man credit for that. Okay, at least I do. So there's a uh, contributor to this uh, article, Alex uh, Al Asgari and um, what it talked about is uh, uh, what 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 Republican uh, representative Adam Klinsinger of Illinois says about this uh, this um, calling subpoenas. Anyway, uh, he said that uh, House Leader Kevin McCarthy and Representative Jim Jim Jordan may be subpoenaed. Klinsinger, who was a member of the House Select Committee investigating the Capitol attack, said during an NBA ABC appearance that um he he won't subpoena us for Kevin McCarthy and Representative uh, uh, Jim Jordan. I would support subpoenas to anybody that can shed light on January sixth. If that's the leader, that's the leader. If it's anybody that talked to the president that can provide us with that information, I want to know what the president was doing every moment of that day. And that's what he, uh, Klinger responded when asked if he would support subpoenaing, subpoenaing the two Republican congressmen. Yeah. Um, hell yeah. Would you support subpoenas for the Republican leader in the House and Jim Jordan? And his reply was, I would support subpoenas to anybody that could shed light on that. If that's the leader, then so be it. McCartney McCarthy reportedly spoke to Trump over the phone during the attack, urging the then president to call off the riots. Well, Kevin, I guess these people are more upset about the election than you are, Trump reportedly told him, according to CNN. McCarthy is said to have subpoenaed, have responded, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Jim Jordan recently acknowledged that he also spoke to Trump on January 6th. I don't think that he meant to say that. Uh, I, mean, blah, 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 blah. I think he meant to do more double talking than anything. I spoke with him on January 6th. I talked to the president all the time. I spoke with him that day after, uh, uh, um, I think after, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know if I spoke with him in the morning or not. Uh, 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 I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when those conversations happened. That's what Jim Jordan said in the interview. When asked about the possible testimony of the former Donald Trump, the former president, he said, we might not even have to talk to Donald to get the information we need. I would prefer you not call him because he's too psychotic. There were tons of people around him. They were tons of people involved in the things that led up to January 6th. I know that we're going to get that information. He has a unique information. If he has unique information, that's one thing. But I think there's a lot of people around him that knew some of the things. Adam Klinsinger is, 
is one of the two Republicans alongside with Wyoming Representative Liz Cheney sitting on the House committee investigating the attack. Both Republican members were nominated by Speaker Nancy Pelosi following a partisan wrangling over the composition of the committee. The select committee was established by the House Democrats after Republicans in the Senate blocked 911 type bipartisan commission. The House commission tasked with investigating the January 6 events was initially supposed to have eight Democrat appointees by Speaker Nancy Pelosi and five Republican members appointed by the GOP. Um, which is interesting. On bringing former President Donald Trump to testify, uh, he was told if he has unique information, that's one thing, but I think there's a lot of people around him that do some things that he might not have been privy to. But just last month, Pelosi rejected two McCarthy appointees, Ohio represent, Representative Jim Jordan and Indiana Representative Jim Jordan, citing their alleged role in the attack. McCarthy then pulled off his Republican nominees, receiving to tap Republican Adam Kissinger and other Democrats to serve on the committee. I don't want to know if the National Guard took five or six hours to get to the Capitol. Did the president make any of the calls? If he didn't, why? And if he did, of course, then I, how come the National Guard still takes five hours? I think I had the presidency pick up the phone and made a call. The Guardian would have been there immediately. Kissinger said in an interview, referring to the slow response time from the law enforcement rate that day, um, he also questioned whether someone might be scared of their investigation for any role that he might have played in the attack. If anybody is scared of this investigation, then I ask you one question. What are you afraid of? I mean, you're either afraid of being discovered or of having some kind of culpability in it, or you think it wasn't a big deal. Then you should allow this to go forward. It is an essential for our history, for the American people, and for truth that we get from the bottom of this. I agree. Mm. What y'all think about that family? What you think about what Dwight Howard said? That's very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Because you know, there's a lot to be said and done before the actual parents show up. That's when all the hell break is.
Uh-oh. No way. 